What's up, you guys? It's Head Coach Ross of the Tax Gym Street Warriors uh, coming at you from a secure location. It's one of those locations where uh, it's a secure facility, so I can't tell you exactly where I'm at. But, uh, yeah, I was uh, having a conversation, you know, uh, about the, the soon-to-be Los Angeles Chargers. Well, pretty much already done, but uh, I was upset about that. You know, uh, my hometown is San Diego, so I was upset about that. And uh, in the midst of this, uh, some genius decides to insert, uh, you know, uh, uh, complimentary terms about your president, the hair piece in chief, he who grabs kitties, uh, President Trump. So I looked at this guy and I realized that Joe Biden really had it right he was trying to tell us about this dude but we should have listened to him i mean look look at what look look at the genius uh mike pence who your boy trump put in charge look at this look at just you know just, just roll the tape listen listen to watch this guy look, look, look at this. Just watch this in 2015, Indiana Governor Mike Pence signed into law the highly controversial Anti-LGBT Religious Freedom Restoration Act, which gave businesses license to discriminate. The law caused a nationwide backlash. Dozens of companies, professional sports teams and leagues, including the Indianapolis headquartered NCAA, threatened to boycott Indiana. Apple CEO Tim Cook slammed the law, likening it to the Jim Crow laws of the American South. Ultimately, Governor Pence was forced to enact a revision specifying the law does not authorize anti-LGBT discrimination. As Governor Pence also oversaw a cut in Planned Parenthood funding in the state and signed legislation, which has since been blocked, that would have restricted abortion access statewide. Governor Pence has long been a vocal critic of Planned Parenthood. In 2011, as a congressman, he threatened to shut down the entire government if Congress didn't defund Planned Parenthood. See, after looking at that, you really get a grasp as to how extremist and how reactionary this moron Pence is i mean like dude is an idiot he only has a pinch of sense if that much i don't want to insult pinches dude is a moron you know what but biden had it right with this he really had it right we, he pence doesn't seem to realize that the country the world has to work together almost like streams of music there's a harmony there's a there's a there's a unity that that we all have to have in order to to operate well as individuals, as groups, as cities, as states, as countries, as a planet. We need this kind of harmony, like a, like a, like a drum set. And we need to protect it like a drum set. In fact, we need to tell Joe Biden that's, that your boy uh, uh, Pence is messing with his drum set. Because if we tell Joe Biden that Pence is trying to mess with his drum, drum set, you know what Joe Biden will say? But wait, there's more genius to be had. Let us pass to some of the utterly in ingenious statements of your boy Sean Spice. As a matter of fact, I won't even insult your brains and your ears by overloading you with the verbal craptacularity of Sean Spicer's commentary. I'll just zero you in to one of his comments. You know, everybody's, well, I should say everyone's seen it, but if you haven't seen it, get ready to see it. And right behind it, there's going to be some proof that will be shocking. So if you're not an adult, be ready for this. It's historical data, but it's not, it's not for the faint of heart, okay? You're going to first be offended by the dooficity of Spicer, and then you will have a very graphic reminder of the horrors that can happen when people like Spicer and their selective memory and their, their, their impaired IQ or anywhere near places like the White House. We didn't use chemical weapons in World War II. You know, you had a, you know, someone as despicable as Hitler who didn't even sink to the, to the, to using chemical weapons. Oh, but there's more levels of stupid. Let's look at I mean, we could just 
roll tapes of Trump lying all day. As a matter of fact, he, pro he probably lied about 15 more times by the time you're watching this video. But let's also take a look see at things that we should all be just, just fundamentally offended by that this dude does. This dude it has a storied history of disrespecting women. Imagine if somebody said or did the kind of things that you're about to see him say, say he did and speak about to your sister, your daughter, your girlfriend, your mother, your grandmother, your wife, your niece, any of the women who play a significant role in your life. How, how would you respond to that? I tell you what, if somebody said that to my mother, I would slaughter that dude. I mean, I mean, yeah, I know. I'm supposed to be, you know, self-defense expert and all that good stuff. And I wouldn't go, yeah, dude, I'm slaughtering. You roll up on, on me like that about your mom's and handle me. That's, that's the end of that. You know what? I wouldn't even handle you. You know what? My mother would get to you before I would. And, bruh, if that happens, you wish it was me who was putting hands on you. Because my mom. I still have a mark right here from when I was 11. From when she gave me a good spanking, you know. I used to be about 10 inches taller than I am now. She slapped all 10 inches off of me when I was doing some extra stupid stuff, you know. I even had an afro. You know what? One hit. Bam. You don't want none of that. So, if this guy did this, says anything like this right here. Watch this. Just, just, just hold it. Right. I did try and. She was married. It's huge news, Sarah. No, no, Nancy. Yeah. No, this was gorgeous. And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her out furniture. I moved on her like a <laughs> But I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony and everything. She's totally changed her looks. I better use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the <laughs> I can do anything. You have offended my family.